Welcome to the Barry Charles Footy Show. How are you doing today? On today's episode, we're going to talk about is it going to be a clean sweep for Queensland or can New South Wales save the save her from the history books? 4 2 1. DCE, is he retiring after this game? Gordon Tallis was absolutely giving it to Clint Newton. Um, yes, he should be sacked, according to him. Um, Justin Holbrook is going to the Tigers. What is doing there? Are you kidding me? And the preview of all the games from the weekend. Let's get to it at the Barry Charles Footy Show. Remember to like and subscribe. Welcome back, guys and gals, to the channel. How are you all doing? Um, obviously, tonight, Queensland. They're looking to make it 3-0, or can New South Wales pull off the miracle? Well, to me, it's Daly Cherry and Evans' possible last game when he wants to go out a winner, so he should go out a winner. Um, Munster, to me, is the man of the match. If they're going to get it done on the other side of the table here for me, if New South Wales are going to get it done, it'll be Cody Walker will be man of the match. Or maybe Tedesco trying to prove that this is not his last game for New South Wales. But overall, I am going to tip Queensland by six. Um, yeah, um, as I said, Tedesco is probably last game. If Fiddler gets sacked, we will find out tonight. Good luck for your whoever you support, and we'll talk about it next time. Um, Gordon Tallis, um, freedom of Clint Newton. What's happening there? Firing it up. Absolutely giving it to him, and then also on a show with Emma Lawrence, um, giving it to the R RPA that he should be sacked. It takes 20 months to get a uh, no deal done. Well, I have to agree with him. Absolutely, if he can't get it done in 20 years, um, not 20 years, 20 months, um, it's absolutely shocking between the NRL and the R RPA not getting it done. They surely should have had a CBA done by now. Um, yeah, but surely the big boys' pants will come up and they will come to an agreement, surely, you believe, because of all this chaos in the media. Surely it'll get it done. Do they need an independent mediator? I don't think so. They are growing up men. They should be able to get it done. We're not at the Game of Thrones. Um, Justin Holbrook is coming to the West Tigers. Are you kidding me? What is doing there? They reckon he could be the head coach. They get rid of Shinzi and Benji. What are they doing there? Are they all smoking the pot? They, they, this is how desperate the journalists are to try and get a story. Surely this is not true. But I honestly think Shinty is on his way up. He will fall on the sword this year and let Benji run the show. There's talk that Benji's already running the show. But on paper, Benji will run the show next season, I believe. Which might bring Justin Holbrook onto as an assistant coach if he wants him there. But the question mark is the Tigers at the moment are picking without their coaches who they're going to bring in. So whether or not that will get done, it's going to be interesting. But to me, it's time for Benji to prove himself as a head coach. It might be a bit early on in the career for him to jump that high, but hey, that's the way he's decided to go, and he's going to have to take that pressure on. Let's hope for the Tigers' sake that they can really improve next season because, again, it's been a bad season, and only Dragons are stopping them from getting the wooden spoon. It's a big game when they play each other shortly. Um... I think for Justin Holbrook, honestly, I think he should go to the Super League. I think that's where he would be best suited um, and win heaps of premierships there. Well, back to Tedesco. Will it be his last game? I think so. With Brad Fiddler on the way out, I would assume. There's no guarantee of that. And even regardless, I think a fully fit Latrell Mitchell plays a better game and they would keep Cody Walker on the team next season um, with Nathan Cleary. And I think that's the way they'll go forward. Um, obviously, you can go with Scott Drinkwater, you could go with Guffo, you could go with... Um, you can go with so many, Dylan Edwards, of course, um, Tommy Turbo, but... Yeah, but the concern, obviously, is the trial module and Tommy Turbo continue to be injured. And that's been too serious for the trial module being injured. Two losses for New South Wales, so... It's not good signs for New South Wales fans. Um, coach, well, I was thinking Andrew Johns initially, but then he can be a little bit of a loose cannon, so he may be not the right job for him but um who who do you actually put in that's a good question but surely there's got to be someone out there who is going to take this on maybe Danny Baderis um there's been talk about Sam Burgess maybe you never know Willie Mason put big Willie in there um Boyd Corner could be a, a choice too Sonny Bill Williams let's go let's just add more to the list um leave comments below and let me know if you want to leave any comments just and put it on the comments page and I might bring it up in the next video um, to chat about 
if you bring up a good question for me to talk about. Um, yes, well, let's get to the footy. Yes, the footy on the weekend is coming up. The Knights versus the Tigers. On paper, I think this is a game that um, <laughs> and the Tigers should win. If you look at the players on paper out, outside of the halves, um, but at the end of the day, to be honest, the Knights should be winning by 30 to keep their slim final hopes alive. If they don't, if they lose this game, the Knights' season is done. Um, Tyson for Southland is looking for a big game since missing out on New South Wales. And there could be celebrations for Kalen Ponga and Dane Gagai, and who missed out on Queensland, but celebrating their team getting the win um, will help them motivate for the Friday night game. Bulldogs versus the Broncos. Yes. Um, this is an old school grudge match. Um, I think, to be honest, that the Bulldogs are probably lucky. They might they might sneak a one more win this season, but that'll be it. Um, Josh Reynolds retiring after this week in the New South Wales Cups for Toby Sexton, who who's taken his spot. But to be honest, the Broncos should get this done. They might rest some players, but I don't believe the Broncos will get it done. Eagles versus Cowboys. Um, this is a last chance to win for Manly. Um, but for this season, it will be over if they lose for me. And Cherry Evans will be looking to bounce back after maybe an orange in victory and requiring for root footy. Um, um, to me, this is a danger game for the Cowboys. They're expected to win, but their away form is not necessarily the greatest. The Seagulls are very good at home this season. So this is a danger game for the Cowboys, but the Cowboys should get it done. But Cooler is playing very good football, and Shushita needs a big game of Manly uh, to win. Roosters versus the Storm. This is an interesting one. Um, the Storm are known to lose some games this season, so the Roosters do have their chance to bounce back and have to bounce back. Roosters, this is a must win if they want to be in the finals this season. They lose, they're gone. Um, this is a danger game for the Storm, but I think the Storm will get it done. And obviously, Pappenhausen, will he return in the next month? That'll be interesting to see. Um, yes, but Storm for six for me. Sharks versus the Warriors. The Warriors, Rocco Berry needs to improve. Um, he's still young, but defensively in the attack. And the Warriors dropped a lot of ball last week. Last couple of weeks, they really need to get that in check if they want to win. Otherwise, the Sharks might cover them up. But Hines and Johnson, this is the game around for me, and it's going to be a big play between those two. He will dominate between those two, probably get it done. But I'm going for the Warriors by seven. It's a must win for both teams looking for the top four. Final two games of the round to me, um, the Panthers. Yes, the Panthers, they should absolutely get it done for me. I think they are going to be way too good in... Um, in their game, I think they will win 13 plus. And in the last game, I think the Eels will just, they will just absolutely get it done against the Titans. Anyway, that is the show for me. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel at Barry Charles Footy Show. And I will return with many more videos to come. And the next one will be the review of the game New South Wales and Queensland. Have a great day out there.